What's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. Uh, happy Good Friday to you all. Uh, as you know, um, those of you that have been around since the beginning of the channel, we've done the Midweek Quickie, which we've moved over to the Mr. Ferguson vlog channel. But we celebrate the coming of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave his life on the cross of Calvary. He died on the cross for the sins of the world and uh, on that Friday, and uh, that's when we celebrate it. I don't want to get into a debate about when he specifically died on the cross, but we know Jesus came, he died on the cross, and he rose from the grave. I played a game called Destiny, and me and my brother used to joke at Jesus self rest So if you're a video game player, Jesus self rest the only one to do so. He was all God, and he was all man. And uh, he's my savior, he's changed my life. Um, I am. Um, I would not be where I am today without the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I want to give credit where credit is due, and that is to him. We wouldn't have the lawns we have without the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of the world. I know everybody has their opinions. I'm not here to force my religion on you, but hey, it's the day that we're going to celebrate when Christ gave his life on the cross. And uh, I'm thankful for him because he's changed my life. So with that said, thank you so much for tuning into this video on this Good Friday. As I mentioned on the last video, as I always mention, go check out the last previous videos. I did a video called Spring Prevention Measures or something like that. And we talked about about insects, we talked about grubs, we talked about fungus, and we talked about hydration. So we've we checked one of those boxes last video. We came out here and we spread some grub X in our lawn just to prevent grubs. Now I was having Scott spreader issues. Um, I only put down one of the bags uh, during the video. I have since then put down the other bag because as somebody rightly mentioned, and as I was aware, I failed to mention this, I'm not gonna keep it for later, even though I could put it down, you know, in a couple Couple weeks I just went ahead and went and, and spread it all evenly once again so we got enough protection um, from the grubs today as I mentioned in that video we want to get into more insecticide and we're talking about tall star I've got tons as I was mowing the grass these I see a bee as I'm talking to you guys right now I've got bees I've got carpenter bees I've seen wasps we've got spider webs beginning to form uh, all up on my lights they constantly gather here I've got a bird's nest right here I'm not trying to kill the birds it's for indoor it's for outdoor um, i used it as i mentioned in several videos at my brother's house down at wilmington north carolina his dog they got very sandy soil they had ants everywhere we sprayed tall star that's the first place i ever used it it did wonders the dog was no longer being bitten by the ants it cleared out the ants and they loved it so we're going to be applying that here in my lawn but before we get there we want to go inside because i don't want to read the tiny little label on the tall star we can pull up the pdf on the computer i want to kind of go over that real quick show you what it covers uh, how much we're going to use uh, what it protects and kills or defends against and so i just thank you for joining us on this good friday let's get into it let's go check out the tall star label all right guys so uh the first thing i want to do i've pulled it up exactly where i bought it online and that is do my own.com i am not paid by do my own.com um, I don't get any money for you buying any of the products on this website. This is just where I specifically bought it. So it is again called Tall Star P Professional Insecticide. There is tons of different options, which is really cool. You can buy it up to, you know, gallons all the way down to 16 ounce pints, which are $35. That can be more expensive. I would imagine buying it by the gallon is going to be the best bet for the bang for your buck. But if we scroll down, the reason why I like their website, it gives us a good summary of this product, so I hope you can read it. But anyways, Tall Star P, also known as Tall Star or One or Tall Star Professional, multi-insecticide with bif bifenthrin is one of the most trusted and widely used insecticides by pest control professionals today and now available for DIY pest control. The name Tall Star means one professional solution for everything and kills over 75 insect pests and can be used indoor pest control or outdoor food handling areas, turf and ornamental treatment, in the yard as a yard spray to treat fleas or other yard pests and even termite control. 
So if you've got termites, this is a product you can use. Tall Star has a long residual, so it keeps on killing pests for over three months after you sprayed it. Plus, Tall Star 1 is odorless, dries clear, leaves no stains, is non-irritating to the skin, and won't break down easily with rainfall. For termites, ants, mosquitoes, roaches, beetles, spiders, and everything in between, Tall Star Insecticide is simply fantastic. One quart concentrate yields 32 to 96 finished gallons. Uh, application of Tall Star Stall P requires a sprayer. That we know. So, um, and just coming down here, we see active ingredient. We just shorten it to say bifen, but it's bifen thrin, 7.9%. Um, again, we kind of summarized it right there, but to over 75 insects, stink bugs, bed bugs, scorpions, spiders, mosquitoes, uh, cockroaches, ticks, fleas, pill bugs, chinch bugs, earwigs, millipedes, um, I can't say that one, flea beetles, uh, spittle bugs, and others. So if you want a complete list, um, you can check the, uh, the PDF, which we'll look at here in a second. Um, again, it's for commercial and residential. It's indoor and outdoor. You can spray this inside your home. So think about this. If you're paying ortho, if you're paying, you know, I've got a company called Whitco um, to come and treat your home for insects. Um, you could technically, if you have a sprayer, do this on your own with this product. Um, is it pet safe? Yes, if used as directed on label. For uh, what else is important? A coverage area: 0.5 to one ounces per gallon of water per thousand square feet. That is what I used at my brother, and that is what worked. I believe I used the 0.5. I used the minimum rate. Um, and then you got shipping and all of that. And uh, if you scroll down, it tells you a little bit more about the sizes. Uh, it is five star rating out of 2,280 people on Do My Own, and you got some reviews here. And so up here near the top to the right, you can see um, um, product documents. So I'm going to pull up the label here and there's tons of things on this label. If I zoom, uh, take you guys back a little bit, but let's just read what's under lawn. And it says, uh, apply, apply this insecticide as a broadcast treatment. Um, use application volumes up to 10 gallons for low volume applications, less than two gallons, lawn application rates, uh, for army worms, cut worms, sod, web worms. You're talking about 0.18, 0.18 to 0.25 fluid ounces per thousand square feet, very low dosage. Then it breaks it down into all of these, which includes crickets, centipedes, earwigs, grasshoppers, uh, mites, uh, bill bugs, things of that nature, 0.25 to half an ounce per thousand square feet. For crane flies, which is one of the things I'm targeting, 0.5 per thousand square feet. And for ants, uh, chinch bugs, fleas, imported fire ants, Japanese beetles, mole crickets, stink bugs, and ticks, 0.5 to 1 fluid ounce per thousand square feet. So I uh, just wanted to read that part. And then when you come up here, uh, clearly on the right side, you guys, it breaks down each of those um, insects, what you want to do if you're trying to target one specifically. Like for instance, we'll go down here and crane flies. Treatments can be made to control um, it to mid, early to mid season larva, uh, approximately August to February, as they feed on plant crowns. Treatments made to late season larva, approximately March, April, that would be around where we are, may only provide suppression. So it breaks down the insects there, and crane flies, is, I'm seeing a lot of the, not the larva, I'm seeing a lot of the actual flies. So it tells me right here, it's not going to kill them, it may only offer suppression. So you want to break down this label, and it goes on and on and on, ornamentals and trees, greenhouses. It talks about, yes, you can spray this on your home, restrictions. I've kind of reviewed this as well. You don't want to do it on pets or food. Um, you, um, you don't want to burn firewood one month after treatment. Uh, firewood is not to be burned one month after treatment in the area. Use only in well-ventilated areas. Sorry. Uh, I'm reading and not looking at the camera. So there's some of the things on the label. So there you go. Uh, that's what we're using. That's what we're going to apply. I don't think I need to go 1.0. We, we've got we've got enough of this to where I can probably go the 0.5. And if I see you know that it's not not doing the desired things that I needed to do, we can always reapply. So I may go uh, 0.5 ounces per thousand square feet. I think that's more reasonable. And also to see up here at my front. 
um, over here in the front of my home. I wanna see if this stuff can help with the carpenter bees because they're absolutely insane. Not to really kill them, but maybe to deflect them. They don't like it. Spray it on the, the wood railing I got because the carpenter bees are absolutely ridiculous. So, sorry to bore you with all the technical stuff. I wanna give you a little summary of what we're using, why we're using it. Let's get outside and let's just quickly throw down Tile Star. We're gonna trim out our, um, our lawn and then we're gonna do a broadcast spray all through the grass and then we'll work on trimming a little bit on the home so let's go do it backpack sprayer i was trying to charge it i'm limited in my time this um evening so i'm gonna have to recharge my battery when i get done with the spray but we got enough to do what we need to do we got our mixer we got our tall star we got our measuring cup we got some of the tips i'm gonna try this tip i think this came with my strom sprayer i'm not exactly sure i'm gonna try this and see if this is any type of direct spray uh, what I was speaking about before, we always get spider webs here. We got a nest with a bird up there. I'm not going to go anywhere near that. But up here, we constantly get spider webs. You see over here, spider webs constantly over here. In this corner, it's just spider heaven. But look at that. Spiders in October, almost year round. So we're going to see if we can, you know, knock some of that down eventually, but also just spray some of this and uh, try to eliminate the bugs here, even right in front of me. Spider webs everywhere. This Strom backpack sprayer with these nozzles uh, out covers 88,000 square feet with four gallons. So we're gonna go 0.5, which means a total of four ounces of Tall Star will go into a full tank of uh, four gallons, and we're gonna cover the whole yard with that 0.5 per thousand. Um, so some of this area, you know, we're, I'm not gonna hit all this. We're gonna take care of the yard first, just like I would spray RGS, just like I would spray anything else. Uh, we're gonna load it up, we're gonna uh, mix it up, and so I'll spare you that. I think you guys know how to pour liquid in a cup and mix it, and you guys saw me just recently with the, uh, with the prodiamine. So uh, we'll set up the camera, we'll capture some of the spray footage, and then we'll hit some of the, even over here at the gutters, uh, you can see some of the spider webs and stuff we get you know, in this general area. So, uh, yeah, so I think this is going to be a great product to, uh, to kind of test out, see if it helps with the carpenter bugs, see if it helps eliminate and we don't have to worry about ants at all. And so with that, I'm going to mix it up, get it ready and let's spray it on the grass. All right, guys. So went ahead with Mr. Red tip. We've trimmed out the property line, um, with our trim nozzle. Um, now we're going to go broadcast. And so we're going to do the bulk of the yard. We want to make sure we switch over from one to two on the strom. Make sure we line up our tip. There we go. And so now we're going to do the bulk of the yard and then we'll worry about the nooks and crannies. Typical Mr. Ferguson fashion. I get off on my tangent and we've already broadcast the whole thing. I don't think I caught but a couple clips, so I apologize. So I found this tip I'd showed you guys. I'll try to hold it up to the front cam here. It's probably gonna focus on me. More direct spray. Looks like it could be used for inside or outside. We're gonna hit some of these areas right here in the back side of the house. We'll see if it makes a difference. Let's see if it dries clear. Let's see if it's runny, if you can tell I did anything. Um, so let's try it. All right, so we've got just under um, just under a gallon more. So we're gonna spray some in this corner over here. Don't want to get it on the bird over here. We're gonna just and if you're a um, if you're a pest control person and you're holding your head in your hand right now, uh, I apologize. I'm not a professional at insecticides, but just trying to cover. We we'll get back underneath the, the house a little bit and here. Um, again, I want to do, I'm going to do back here, um, around the base of the mulch in the house where the girl's room is. Um, 
I don't know if I want to hit there. There's not a lot here uh, on the front that I see, but I am going to kind of tag these bushes a little bit just so no insects, you know, maybe the bees like them or whatever. We want to just keep them away. I'm annoyed by the bees. Um, this is not supposed to, you know, um, kill honeybees or anything like that. We're talking about carpenter bees. They, you can see right here, um, right there where they, uh, they're grinding through our, they're tearing up our railing. So it's not about hatred for bees. And there's one right there you can see. Um, just spray this area and these plants. And I'm gonna hit this railing area. And hopefully we'll see if it makes a difference. I don't know if it will or not. Hit some of the corner of the house here as well. Cause they like to kind of fly up on the roof for some reason. Look, it's all Spiderville. Spider-Man could live back here. Just hit all this. So we'll see if I have to come back and clean this. I'd hit all this stuff. Hit that. Hit the top here. And that's the main areas there up here in this area. We're going to test out. So thank you guys for tuning in for another video. I apologize. I'm limited on time and I kind of rushed this video. But I'll keep you updated on the back side of my home here to let you know if I see a difference in the spiders and the bugs. Uh, thank you again for joining me on this Good Friday. Hope you guys have a great holiday and a great Easter weekend. If you're interested, check out the Midweek Quickie on the Mr. Ferguson vlog page. Thank you guys so much for joining me this Good Friday. We'll see you next time.